pretty good. Does it? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Splitting. So, we're so, going to see The Expendables 3. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts going into this? Well, my thoughts are, um, I'm pretty excited. The Expendables are good. And at the same time, what I would call, you know, crappy. They're exactly what you would expect from that 80s style, um, rated R action flick. Except I heard that it's only PG-13, which means that there's probably no boobs. Which was like the staple of every, like, Seagal and or, you know, Schwarzenegger film. But uh, Seagal was offered a role in this movie, and he declined. Really? He did decline. Yeah, As did Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan prefers to be the lead. That's true. I could see that. I don't think it would fit into Jackie Chan's style. Jackie Chan is like a martial arts, you know, it's kind of like a funny happy, and he never actually uses weapons. Speaking of martial arts, Bruce Lee yes. is in the movie. Uh, for a couple minutes. Not Bruce Lee, Jet Li. I was about to one say. One of the Lees. Bruce Lee just jumped out of the grave to get into Expendables 3. <laughs> one, of, one of the Lees. And he doesn't throw a punch or anything. He does in the... Jet Li's been in the other ones. Yeah, but in this movie, he doesn't... He doesn't apparently, fight he doesn't, he doesn't throw any punches or I anything. I see Seagal. He's getting into his music and he's getting far too fat to act. Have you seen any of his newer movies? They all kind of suck. No, I Like, even not. worse than, you know, what you would expect from a Seagal movie. True lies. Oh. So that's what I'm excited for. Too many movies now are all like, um, you know, they're all CG and they're all just tailored to be for everyone. This is, you know, just like guns, explosions. This is just purely action for the sake of action and it is really, you know, I'm pretty pumped. At the same time, I was talking to my brother and uh, apparently this is review. This is the worst Expendables yet. It was beat out by Let's Be Cops. And yes. Guardians of the Galaxy is still number top, I believe, or yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's talk about Guardians of the Galaxy is, is like the next Star Wars kind of deal in terms of the potential for franchise and the style of movie, blah, 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 all that jazz. Which is cool. I don't know. People, especially on Reddit, are pretty uh, gung-ho and hyped about Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, it was good, but I mean, they're, you know, comparing it to Star Wars is a pretty bold statement. Well... Cast members of Star Wars, Harrison Ford, is in this new movie. He yes. takes over as um, Bruce Willis's character. Yes. Because Bruce Willis wanted a million dollars per day for filming, and uh, they said no. I'd give Bruce Willis a million dollars per day. But now we have Harrison Ford. That man is awesome. Harrison Ford is equally as awesome. Maybe not equally as awesome, but he's he's pretty cool. He's he's different a different kind of awesome. Different kind of awesome. Yes. I agree. He's not like a yippee ki motherfucker. Harrison Ford, I think, is more uh, suave, if you know what I mean. He's, he's more of like Indiana a... Indiana Jones. Right. He's And even Han Solo, he's classy. Whereas, you know, Bruce Willis is more like, I don't know what you call it, like raw. He's just more, he's just intense. Yeah. He's just action. He's going to tell you he's going to kick your ass because he can kick your ass. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, I, I think it'll be good. I, I really... Um, I have a soft spot for, you know, your, uh, your corny, cheesy, crappy action flicks. You know, that critically acclaimed wise would be considered like the worst movies ever yet in my mind or like the best movies ever. I agree. Like True Lies, as you said, or like Last Action Hero or, you know, the majority of Seagal films and Schwarzenegger films and Van Damme, you know. Rambo. And... Rambo, exactly. Stallone. Just old school. Those were the days. Those were the days, indeed. Yes, you don't get movies like that anymore. Right. So, I think, uh, yeah, that, that about sums it up. I think so. Hopefully optimistic. Yes, that's what I would go with as well. I want it to be good. And not in the sense that I would come out going that should win an award, more coming out thinking, gosh, I, you know, I'm thoroughly satisfied with car chases, gunshots, and explosions. And, and trying of story. They tried. Yeah, it's got to have something. It's hard when your lead actor can't speak English. Yeah, and it's hard. It's, it's, it's a large cast of a lot of what in the day would have been considered lead actors as well. Mel Gibson is in this one. I know. He, was, he was offered to be a, a director too, but he didn't want to direct. That's because it had nothing to do with Jesus. No. So. It's a thing these days. I think I think that's good for now. We'll, yes. Uh, we'll see you after the movie. Yes. Party on.
I mean, I get it. I get it. There's, all right. no, there's no story. Nothing happens. It's all bad acting. Ten but, out of ten. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> ten out of ten. I mean, it was the awesome. acting was shit. Yeah. The story was shit. Right. The graphics, I mean, Counter-Strike. Source has better graphics, better explosions, better gunfire. Watch it, but only the last 30 minutes rent it, I would say. And just, just watch the last 30 minutes. That's all you need to do, really. Right, the fight scenes. That's the best yeah. part. I don't know. For me, as I said going in, it was exactly what I expected to be. As any Seagal or any, you know, Schwarzenegger film's ever been, story sucks, acting sucks, but there's action and explosions and guns and... You know what you're getting into right. you when go you in. go to see a movie like this. Right. You, you know. Right. So don't don't go expecting Any, like Harry Potter because you're not gonna get Harry Potter. No, and it's not, I don't think they even want it to be Harry Potter. They know no. it's cheesy. It's supposed to be cheesy. That is like the whole point of what these movies are. One thing I would have I would have enjoyed um, when Harrison Ford comes in with the helicopter and he shoots whatever he shoots. I would have expected um, just uh, all right, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Right. Because they did, they they threw in the get to the chopper. You know, they throw in some of the you know old school yeah. punchlines. It would have been maybe they couldn't buy the maybe there's like a copyright there's, on the line probably, yeah, probably and Disney now owns it and it'd be way too expensive to be able to say that. Whereas yeah. you know Schwarzenegger probably owns all of his movies, so he could say whatever the hell he wants. I think a movie like that would benefit from the actors not getting paid like a million dollars a day they are on set and maybe spend like. Get Michael Bay in to do some explosions. Because, I, I mean... It's too much. It's just too... Again, that's when you're just going to get into stupid CGI. It's old school. But that... Old school. That The CGI there, there was... There wasn't any. There didn't need to be any. Just you, blow, blow up stuff. The whole thing was like terrible CGI. Like terrible... I think, I think the problem is, is that we're just so used to there being CGI that we just assume that there is. I think that was just them blowing up a building. I don't, I don't, I mean, the end might have been them actually blowing up a building, but like when the tanks were shooting at the, the, the building, that was terrible. When they were driving their, their stupid cars, even like, I don't know, it just looked all like it was like filmed in front of a green screen, like pretty much like 80% of the movie it felt like to me was, I don't know. Even like when Mel Gibson was looking at art. I was like, is that green screen? That could be green screened. Is he actually in a place looking at art, or did they just green screen I that? I feel like we just expect everything to be that way, which is the way you see it. Maybe. I don't know. I I got exactly what I wanted out of that movie. And I think I think that's what you, you kind of, when you go into something like that, you kind of have to expect what you get. So, how many, how many flaming guns would you give it? Oh, to be honest... My excitement level right now is probably higher than any movie that we've seen so far this summer. Really? Summer. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, there's a soft spot in my heart for, like, I own ev almost every single Seagal movie f up until, like, 2000. <laughs> From, like, the early 80s all the way up to, like, the late 90s, I own almost every single Seagal film. Um, so that's, so it's my, it's what I love. So, for me... Um, probably I would give it like an eight, eight and a half, probably. I know, I know, and I realize, I realize that the majority of people that would see it would say that that movie sucks, but it doesn't. That movie was awesome. I kind of knew what we were going into, and I'm still just, I mean, as a movie on its own, like if you're an, an actual review, I'd give it like a, a five out of 10 but because you gotta like you gotta know what you're getting into for this genre of movie this type of movie it's probably a seven so but I, I wouldn't recommend watching it on like in theaters I'd definitely download it cheap night yeah I wouldn't even go to cheap night really I just straight to you download gotta, you if, gotta buy you gotta support man you gotta keep it's, it's Stallone's still massive that guy is awesomely huge yeah I thought so. Schwarzenegger's getting kind of fat. Well, I mean, must it's 
bound to happen. There's only one way to go when you're that big. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> when you stop working out, it's just... That's what happens. I don't know. Kind of. I was pretty excited about that. I mean, it's as good as it's going to get for one of those movies, honestly. I agree. I mean, people Maybe. say it was... though. I don't see how it was any worse nor any better than the three previous ones. They're all kind of... Pretty much every movie along that genre is pretty... Terrible. But at the same time... <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. In my in my in my opinion. That that's my thoughts on it. I was pretty excited. Yeah, I enjoyed the the last half hour, but that's about it. Hmm. I didn't I didn't like the collecting the new recruits or uh, just it was so much of it could have been like saved. Yeah, but they need to they have to have some form I of guess, a story. Yeah, they need like <laughs> some sort of plot and kinda <laughs> introducing the new characters for right. and then you gotta future mix movies. With, right, exactly. you got to mix the old with the new, mix styles, and it'll lead into more stuff. I, I'm, I'm excited for them for more. I want more. There's just not enough, again, as I, I've said multiple times, there's just not enough good, wholesome action movies anymore like that. I'd like um, the whole movie to be like the end. <laughs> Just like I understand. Um, what was the one? Just don't want all the fluff in the middle. You just want the yeah. car chases, guns, and explosions. There was a, a a movie, and it was like um, Raid Redemption or something like that. Okay. And they're in like this office tower, and these it's like a gang office right. tower. And that was that was pretty much the best action movie ever. Right. Everyone in the, the office or the, the hotel tower right. is trying to kill these cops. And it's pretty sweet. That's awesome. So. Yeah, I don't know. I just, we need more like that. I All think right. I think less CGI, less stuff. We just need more guns and violence and car chases. Old school. Back to the 80s. And that's it. Yep. That's it. That. Is that it? That's it. <laughs>